You know these moments in your life where everything seems to be going wrong, everything seems to suck no matter what you do, and you can't control it. It comes from the outside, it's completely out of your control, and you're just there looking up at the heavens like, please stop, give me a break. I don't know what I did wrong, but please spare me for a second. Yeah, and you're walking around expecting for the next bad thing to happen, something's gonna fall on your head, this is how my life has been currently which is why I haven't been very active, haven't been very productive, haven't been making videos, haven't been drawing because everything sucks and I'm afraid to take a step forward. So yeah, I have been walking around wondering what the hell is going to happen next and I'm in Japan, right? So the thing that I might have to fear the most, something out of my control, would be a natural disaster, right? Do you see where I'm going? Do you see how I smoothly segued into the topic of this video, huh? Anyway, in all seriousness, Japan does have quite a lot of natural disasters. There's a high risk for earthquakes, tsunamis, flooding. Especially in the area where I'm living now, there are a lot of rivers and um, during rainy season, there are quite a lot of flood warnings. So I think this is why the city, the ward where I'm living in, a few months ago sent all the residents a pamphlet. I don't know if that applies to all the wards in Tokyo, but that's what happened where I live. I received a catalog saying, hey, you can choose a few of these um, disaster prevention items and we'll send them to you for free. And I was like, yes. I have been wanting an emergency backpack for quite a while. They do go on for sale on Amazon for like $200, which is, you know, not ideal for someone in my situation. And you can make them yourself, you can buy all the items individually, but since this opportunity presented itself to me, I filled in the online form and asked for specifically the disaster prevention backpack. Actually, it came with this thing which does say bosai bag so disaster prevention bag and a lot of different things i think there's a movie i'm supposed to watch on how to use these items haven't checked everything out yet i have had a little look inside but i haven't unwrapped everything let's do this together yeah so this backpack has items to use in case of an emergency the lights go out there's no electricity there's no probably no like clean water like fresh water or no heating medical emergency i'm this is what i'm guessing this backpack is for i don't know how complete it is i'm pretty sure there are items that i'm supposed to add in myself maybe like some kind of food or something but enough talk let's let's open this up so okay as you can see, pretty full. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab the first thing on the top and it, we have some tape, either duct tape or medical tape. Can't exactly read it. I don't think it's medical tape, I think it's actual duct tape. And it does seem to say like you can write on it, so that's what I'm trying to read. And my Japanese is still not awesome, so that would be my guess. Next thing, I'm seeing two rolls of what? Dapp mm, and aluminium foil. Okay, so literally saran wrap, like plastic wrap and aluminium wrap. Again, there's a lot of how to use instructions here. Um, it does seem to say like food related and to keep. Oh, actually you can use aluminium foil to wrap your body on cold days. That's what I'm reading. Yeah, I've got some wraps here. What else do we have? Oh, we've got a flashlight that has two uses and that it needs batteries. This is too light to have batteries in. So I'm pretty sure I can actually open this one because it would be actually useful to know if it has batteries or not. This is way too light, there's no way there's batteries in there. No, okay, so that's something to add to this bag. There are no batteries, but yeah. Okay, these are just tissue. Tissues. Um, okay. 
Okay, this one come out. This one, plastic cups. Feels more like a picnic bag so far. <laughs> ah, okay, now we've got some packs. So let me put this aside for now and grab the other loose items in here. Why isn't this one coming up? Oh, there we go. Ooh, plastic shoes and, okay, gloves, it looks like. We've got shoes. Let me see if it actually fits my feet because I've got gigantic feet. Um, it will have to do. <laughs> no showing feet on YouTube. Okay, next are these rubber, there's like fabric on one side and like plastic rubber on the other side. So yeah, I'm pretty sure these will be useful. Ooh, I feel like a burglar. <laughs> um, and then we have five liter plastic water container. Okay. Then we have this aluminium tarp thing. Maybe you can wrap yourself in it. Let me see if I can read. I think it's also, oh, it's protecting against the fire. Wow, my English translation. <laughs> Soft on a cushion. Okay, so maybe you can sit on this if you have to sit on the ground or something. Okay, and then we have another pack of multiple things. So this is all we have. Let's check out what these are. We have paper plates. Um pill box yeah it's a pill box a pill box pill box some things are kind of random but okay pill box um plastic cutlery <laughs> chopsticks <laughs> a bunch of disposable chopsticks it's a bashi, so disposable Plastic toothbrushes. What is this? Actually, I have no clue what this is. I'm just gonna use Google Translate because we need to know. Plastic bag. Oh, you can use it as a water container. And you can even use these plastic bags as clothing if you cut like a neck <laughs> and uh, and like arms. Okay, so these are just simple plastic bags, but not to use as garbage bags, to use as containers and clothes. Okay, what do we have next? Oh, this looks like an inflatable pillow. We have a sleeping lady here. Okay. We have a towel. Towel. Body towel. Body. Okay. Body towel. And what else? Oh, what is this? Mask. Oh, okay. Simple. <laughs> I couldn't see what these were, but obviously these are face masks. And Ziploc bags. That was in the first little package. Now we have the second one. Let's see. Oh, cutter. Yes, definitely score for this one. We have some cotton swabs. Probably this is more like a medical kit, it looks like. Okay, cotton swabs. Um, whistle. <laughs> what is this? They poncho ah katakana guys is pretty hard to read. You're trying to figure out what the Japanese version of an English word is. So this one it says rain poncho, rain poncho, bright yellow. Awesome. Not sarcastically. I I want people to see me if I'm out there in the rain. We've got some aluminium blankets. So more aluminium items. This is portable toilets. <laughs> I, 
I didn't even read it, but <laughs> it's the diagram says it all. I hear powder, so there's like maybe like a neutralizing like smell or like I don't know. I I have no clue how to use these. Maybe I should learn in case of a disaster. But yeah, so three um, disposable toilets, screwdriver, which I don't even own, so maybe I will use this <laughs> for myself. But it's only got two sides like it's got the flat and then the cross i'm sorry i'm not using the right terminology here but a little screwdriver and then what is this i think this is a bag to put money in like this is the recommendation you should have a 1000 yen like two two 500 yen coins 10 100 yen coins and 10 10 yen coins i'm guessing this is the bag you put it in you have to prepare this yourself they're not going to give you the money but yes you are going to need to prepare money in case of a disaster because you need to use pay phones like that's the first thing on the top of my head if there's a major disaster your phones are not going to work People are going to line up and use payphones. And then the final item is a notepad and a pen. These are the things provided in my emergency pack. And now I have to put everything nice and neatly and think about the items that might be missing. Off the top of my head, underwear. Like, I think I've seen these in Daiso, like disposable emergency underwear. That's something that comes off the top of my mind. And then probably non-perishable foods, like food bars and things that just don't go off, like emergency rations or something. Those might be good things to prepare in my emergency bag. Um, yeah, underwear, probably socks. Yeah, something to think about. How prepared can you really be when faced with it? natural disaster with a huge emergency i mean unless you have a freaking bunker underneath your house i don't think you can be fully prepared but you can definitely try so i'm going to look up how to properly pack this bag how to make it as complete as i can and if you are coming to japan maybe look into getting one of these bags most of my japanese friends don't even own one but especially if this part of the city the ward you're living in offers to give you like emergency materials for free i mean definitely sign up for it that's all i can recommend and now i'm going to go back to my life and hope that nothing shitty happens please no more i want to go back to my life thank you very much if you want to help out all the links are down below if you want to follow my adventures all the links are down below thank you so much for watching thank you so much to my lovely patreons and i will see you hopefully soon Fingers crossed that everything goes well. El Rodeo. Bye guys.